Some of Adelaide's most spectacular private gardens are being open to the public. The Open Gardens program has been resurrected, giving a rare chance to explore some simply amazing backyards. A spring open for a secluded garden paradise. He's created this wonderful oasis. The gates to this privately owned garden, filled with striking succulents and softer natives, are now open to the public as part of a new program by Open Gardens SA. Our aim is to showcase the very best gardens of their kind in every area. Undeterred by the death of a national scheme, the not-for-profit group has revived the program for South Australia, sharing the natural beauty of these labours of love and the secrets behind them with gardening enthusiasts. There was such an outcry of dismay that the program of Open Gardens was closing that everyone said, well, why don't we get it up and running ourselves? Strolling through this garden at Bellevue Heights, it's easy to see why the concept is flourishing. There's a really peaceful feel in here, do you think? It's wonderful. Um, it's the trees providing shade and protection um, and creating this really lovely, peaceful environment where the birds and people and the plants all thrive. There are 50 gardens open this season and they represent all the challenges that South Australia can offer a gardener, from windswept sand hills down by the beach to dark and shady gullies up in the Adelaide Hills. And then there's a rocky sun-blanched hillside like this one. It has taken a decade of wielding a crowbar and a good eye to transform this landscape into what we see today. Intricate sculptures add to the ambience. And I reckon he's proved that a succulent garden can be very attractive. Oh yes, and it's all about the clever placement of the plants together, the shapes, the textures, the forms. The Bellevue Heights Succulent Garden is open tomorrow with a full schedule of other openings available on the Open Gardens SA website. We've always had a successful program here in South Australia and we want that to continue well into the future. Keith Conlon, Nine News.